Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to test um, how TPU prints on the Ender 3 V3 Plus. So that's a large one, that's a 300 by 300 bed. And I'm going to use this TPU, which is um, a TPU Silk. It's from, oops, it's from Sunloo. So it's the only real one I've got at the moment. Now I opened this about a year ago and I've used it a couple of times, not much since then. And I've had it stored in this bag with all these um, moisture munches in them. Um, so it should be dry enough. What I'm going to do is I will show you just how it let me, is let me just get it around here. So I have um, this pie dryer. Oops, sorry, it's uh, I'm not going to really make it. This pie dryer over here with this Bowden tube that will go up into the filament runout sensor of the plus. And from there, I've got the Bowden tube leading into the head. So I'll load it up in there. Now this, on the on the, the normal V3, on the bottom of the, so it's the same setup as this. So on the bottom of the filament runout sensor on here, they've got a little, um, like normal little connection to push your um, Bowden tube into, like you have on any extr on the extruder and stuff. But on the plus, they haven't done it. I'm not sure why. So it hangs loose but the filament's always pulling that way. Okay, occasionally it'll push back, but not enough to stuff it up. So I've used this with, um, with PLA quite a bit. As you can see, I've been printing a lot. Um, so I've used it with PLA quite a bit and it works really well. So let's see how this works, printing TPU. Okay, so the noise you can hear is when it does the gyroid back and forth like that really quick. <laughs> It makes that little bit of vibration sound. A bit annoying, but you know, it's um, if you want it to run that fast, you're going to put up a little bit of noise. Um, if you were to use a grid pattern or something, I don't think it would, it would make that noise, but I prefer the gyro, I think it's a bit stronger. Um, okay, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, um, if you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscription, it would be really great. Um, what else have we got? That's about it. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first test will be this toaster. This tolerance toaster. As you can see, it's got um, different angled lines on it to allow um, to see how they print. It's got these little holes up here to see how it prints holes. All these little loops on top of the toast. Now that, when you push this lever down, those toasts pop up. These little gears here, another little test of tolerance gears on this side and it's got these little pegs here which have different clearances as a 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2.1 so and have a look underneath you'll see that's what we're printing so this little lever joins here and then this whole lot lifts up out of the top of the toaster okay so let's see how it prints shall we going pretty good guys. I did one of these um, little torture tests here but I forgot to the, I'll be putting supports on this so and I've got to take them off that. So I'm going to do that one again but the, um, the wheels are looking good. A few moments later. All right guys so it's finished now I did print these wheels with it for one of the models I'm doing and it came out really nicely as you can see. Um, so it hasn't really left a mark anywhere on here so that's really good so it's come out really nicely um, there's two of them I will say though that this one I had to put upside down and it has made a few little I'm gonna have to clean that up a bit as you can see made a few little markings on the nice shiny surface there but the rest of it has come out really nice and they don't really have any on this side. Um, I don't know why I did it that way. Oh yeah, because it's got a little mud guard here and that would have stuffed up going into the plate. It was easier to do it that way. Um, so I also shoved in my first little test I was going to do was this. <laughs> and I forgot that I had um, I had supports on. So it's not going to work properly with supports on. I'll do it again. Uh, but you can see it printed out out the text really well, yeah? 
and the text on the inside there. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, and these little um, these little pillars here printed out okay, considering they're going to be wobbling around like that all the time. Okay, so this TPU, as you can see. Yeah. Okay, so and e <laughs> Um, so the, the problem is I wanted to test the, the bridging and you can't do it with um, the bridging and the uh, uh, overhangs. You can't do it when you've got supports. I pulled the supports off here um, when I was taking it off. But, but the rest of it's come out really nicely. Of course that's going to be like that because I've got glue on it. Um, the glue makes it easy to get off the plate. Like um, if you do this and don't put the glue on your plate you might have a bit of problem getting it off a plate. But anyway, so that no good. Now, then what I did was I thought, ah, oh, stuff it, I'll do a, a um, torture toaster. So I got the torture toaster here, but when I was getting it off, I pulled too hard and I pulled this bit off. But let's have a look at it here. So this bit is, is loose, as you can see, it does spin. But it, it doesn't spin really freely because you've got rubber going on rubber and it's, it moves, but it's just, you know. So it does go on on this side and you can see that moves around but it's it's like it's not sitting properly because it's because it's rubber but you can see it's turning yeah so that did really well and what went really well here was oh okay now what that was that fell out was the um, tolerance on the back here the number po point 0.2 fell out so try look at the other ones what do we got we got oh oh no oh. so all of them came out except now point one's not coming out. So all the tolerances worked and came out. Now they're falling out because these are just wobbly because it's TPU. I didn't think any of it would work to be honest with you. Um, and this actually works. You can see there's a bit of stringing there. Okay, a bit of stringing. Oh, not that one, on this one. But what you can do, let's have a look if it comes out with a little bit of flame. Just run a bit of flame over it. Oh, see? gone so those little whispers of string in between that have gone and it works well <laughs> don't forget this is the tv is rubber see it's rubber it's squishy rubber and it's working really well better than some of the um fdm filament i've used you know the um the harder filament i've used i should say now you can see the angles here all worked really well so all the uh, bridging Work well on the angles and every single angle works so it's going from 80 degrees so this one at the bottom here is 80 degrees oh, on the on this side <laughs> this side this side <laughs> sorry sorry i'm looking at myself in the monitor and i'm back to front so on this side it's 80 and look look how cleanly they printed out yeah i've done nothing to this i, I haven't touched it at all except pull it off the plate because you've got the normal plate things where it's been sitting because it sat flat with the other what did I do with that here it sat like this on the plate and this pie peeled off and I just yanked it and it, this bit stayed on a bit <laughs> maybe not enough glue on it on this side but um oh hang on oh I just realized something it's meant to come off okay it's got these little and they just fit into a little hole there oh how about that I didn't break it oh there you go <laughs> I didn't realize I thought I'd broken it. I haven't broken it, see? There you go. Oh, cool, that's even better. Wow. Okay, because if, if, it, if it came off on the um, on a PLA or something, you'd, you'd think it was broken, usually. But yeah, works well. So that is, there's some more text. So that is the um, TPU silk TPU but it's still TPU because it's still, still flexy as anything yeah and I'm not pushing hard so I'm really impressed with that so Ender 3 V3 plus prints TPU really nicely that's one of the better TPUs I've seen printed to be honest with you well, I didn't think this would work at all but I thought eh, why don't I give it a try so the tolerances are really good. The tolerances are better than half the PLA I've used 
trying to trying to test that. I've done some tolerance tests before where I did a bamboo P1S and the K1 Max, and I did tolerance tests between the two. Um, K1 Max one, by the way, um, and have a look at that, and you'll see how that torture toaster came out in those things with with um, different sorts of filaments. So I've used PLA, ABS. Um, I think I used. I know, I'm not sure about TPU with the torture toast. I don't think I used it back then. Um, but I put some nylon through it and printed out that torture toaster and it, you can have a look at how it printed. But I'm really impressed with these tyres. These tyres are really good. So you got, it's, it's not, yeah, it, it's a tyre that doesn't move because it fits on the model and part of the model comes over. It's meant to be a futuristic type thing. Um, so I'll have that online on the... Uh, Facebook groups in the next couple of days as I put it together. I'm going to do a little bit of painting of things. I've got a few things I need to paint because I ran out of white filament and I've had to use grey, black and what white I had left and some resin and I didn't have white resin. I had a this colour resin. So that's another model I do. Oh, this is Hellboy. This is the foot of Hellboy that I've done in resin. So it's going to be a big model. So when I'm doing my big models, I do the delicate parts or the ones with a bit of detail in it and stuff in resin. And the other parts that don't have, like his body, doesn't have much um, detail in it. So I'll do that in filament and FDM. Then I just piece them all together. Some, some parts I can't do in the resin printer because they're too big. Um, but um, I don't want to chop some things up because it's just going to crap them up. Um, like... Um, like half his jacket. That would have been really nice in filament, in a, uh, resin, sorry. But it's come out all right. In, oh, don't worry about that, but that's a bit of glue. <laughs> I put it together and then realized I shouldn't have had it together and pulled it apart really quickly um, because the body's got to fit inside. And I've got these little things here and it's not going to fit on if I've glued it together. So I've got both halves and I've got a little bit of glue marking on the back there, which I'm going to have to scrape off and paint doesn't matter I'm just going to paint this anyway it's going to be a brownie color anyway enough of that um, I will see you next week I hope it's going to be next week I've been pretty busy in the last couple of weeks my son just got married so I've been busy doing stuff for him I printed out some flowers for the table and stuff and it came out really well I posted them in the Facebook group so go and have a look in the, any of the official Crowley Facebook groups most of them have got um, a posting of the flowers and stuff I printed out um, they didn't want live ones so we got artificial ones and some flowers we couldn't find anywhere. Um, wife either went to Thailand and Bali to look for them. She got a lot of greenage and stuff, but not a lot of flowers that they wanted. So I had to print them and just went to Thingiverse. There's heaps in Thingiverse printing them off and they were really happy. Anyway, see you later guys. Have a nice week. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past. So. Feel free. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.